How's it going, Yankee fans? My name is Alex with my co-host here, Ryan Garcia, and we want to discuss Harrison Bader today, man. Oh my God, the impact he's had over three games. We are seeing why we traded for him. You know, this is definitely like a revisiting moment for us in terms of, you know, we traded Jordan Montgomery. Uh, everyone was kind of like, why did we acquire an outfielder in an, in a boot right now when Mark Montgomery went on to actually have a pretty good couple of weeks, if not months now, uh, with the St. Louis Cardinals. And, you know, Bader was a postseason move, right? This, is, this was always the mentality behind it for general manager Brian Cashman. It was always looking ahead to when he was healthy, what he could contribute uh, come that time. And finally, we've reached that time where he is contributing on multiple different levels here. But the offensive quality he's shown on this team so far has been the most impressive. You know, defensively, he has unbelievable range. He can run the bases incredibly well, as we've seen. But I have to say, just his offensive contributions have been very surprising, probably even better than his defensive ones up to this point. And if he continues hitting like this, and he's barely, like, the guy's barely ramped up uh, for the most part. So we want to discuss his metrics, you know, what he's doing, uh, the energy and spark he's brought to this team. It completely changed the entire course of the center field position. Of course, Judge was killing it there. Uh, but, you know, if you're comparing him to Aaron Hicks, two, like, polarizing, you know, players that, you know, to discuss and, um, the, the Yankees also did designate for assignment uh, Miguel Andujar yesterday. So, you know, because the trade deadline has closed, um, essentially the the Yankees have to either bring him back after seven days or they'll outright him and he'll end up on waivers. So a team could eventually claim him. So maybe he'll get his wish and go to another club. Uh, but Ryan, you know, what is your impression of Harrison Bader so far, the impact he's having right now and, you know, your expectations for him moving forward? So one thing we knew about Harrison Bader was the defense, right? We we knew coming into this, Harrison Bader was going to be an excellent defender. And I remember uh, recording with Nick uh, right after the Bader trade. And I was very upset because I didn't understand the reason for trading Montgomery for Bader. But, you know, time as time passes on from a trade, you feel a little less strongly about certain things. You kind of step back and you can look at things, uh, the bigger picture. And while, yes, I still think it's not a great process to make your team worse without locking up the division, um, and it almost bit the Yankees in the ass, it ended up not biting them in the butt. So, you know, uh, I got to give props there. Harrison Bader's bat is something that I've always been excited about because I thought he's some, I looked at him as someone who, you know, the numbers at Bush Stadium were really bad. Over 60% of his home runs, I think it's the exact number, 69.2% of his home runs uh, have come on the road, which is a large majority considering, you know, again, you play most of your games at Bush. So, you know, if you're a Cardinal, you're playing most of your games there. So it's kind of crazy to think that this is a guy who's generated so much power on the road and failed to generate that power there. Yankee Stadium's a above average ballpark in terms of giving up home runs. I know some people talk about how the deeper parts of the stadium make it a little more pitcher friendly, uh, you know, than hit than most people think. But in terms of home runs, it's still very hitter friendly. Um, the base running, I mean, you saw him turn a single into a double. I know the Yankees were up by a lot at that point, but that's still crucial. Uh, we see yesterday setting up the way he sets up in center field to get his throw in another big aspect about playing yankee stadium yes the you know the alleys there are those alleys on right and left center that are deep but center field in terms of just positioning you can play a little bit you don't have to play as deep in center field as you would in bush because bush there's a lot of outfield ground uh, there's a lot of ground to cover there uh so you see bader getting set up and he's stopping guys from taking third base um clay holmes you know not to discredit what he did he pitched phenomenally yesterday that was a huge outing for clay holmes but if harrison bader isn't out there do we think clay holmes gets out of that inning how confident are we because he just makes these incredible plays he sets himself up very well he's a very strong defender even when it's not the highlight reel throws like aaron judge making that highlight reel throw to gun down tommy fam or you know the sliding grabs you'll see infielders make harrison bader every play he makes he is making an impact. He's doing something that another outfielder cannot do. You mentioned the contrast with Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks is getting ran on there, you know, and that changes the quality of the, the type of that bat, you know, uh, uh, the Red Sox are going to have. There's a runner on third, right? You go into desperation mode. You're just looking to get anything uh, to go uh, your way, and it puts more pressure on your infielders to make the play because the runner can score uh, even uh, on a – not even on an error. The guy just beats out the ground ball. That's a base hit right there. The run scores and potentially the Yankees are looking at a situation where they've lost. And we're, we're talking about how the Yankees lost and how, you know, we're not still confident in Clay Holmes or whatever. Uh, Bader 
is the equalizer in that outfield. Judge back and right field, the throws he can make in the corner there, the home run robberies we know he can make. That's where Aaron Judge is going to be his best defensively. I love seeing him in center, but we know that Judge is a better right field than he is a center fielder. We know Bader is an all-world defensive center fielder. And I think that helps Oswaldo Cabrera as well, who's out in left field and you. It means he doesn't necessarily have to make sparkling grabs in left center field because Harrison Bader's there and he can go out and give him a hand. Again, Harrison Bader is a leader out there. He knows what he's doing. And with the bat, he's hit pretty well. I'm pretty sure he's hitting 333 so far with the Yankees. His OPS is around 750, 770, something around that mark, uh, which is pretty good in this era. Uh, you know, if he gives you, you know, a 700 plus OPS, you'll take with the defense. And we know the base running is going to be very good. He was dancing off second base, making that pit, making pitchers worry about him. Uh, he ends up, I believe, scoring on that sack fly, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or he hit a sack fly. Uh, but he goes out there, he makes plays. He goes out there and he helps his team. And he got this team is now, uh, this team's younger. This team's better defensively. They're faster. They're a more fundamentally sound baseball team because of Harrison Bader. Yeah. You mentioned, you know, the range he has in taking pressure off of right and left field. You know, you don't, you don't need uh, Cabrera. You don't need judge to be uh, laying out full swing to try to get these diving balls. Bader just has the speed and athleticism to get there standing up. Um, and, you know, we saw with Hicks, he looked lazy out there. He was a lazy defender this year, and he begged for mercy, begged for opportunities, and and, and Boone said, dude, you, we gave you so many opportunities. He was like, I, you know, he said recently, um, I need consistent playing time to get better and to, to really show my quality. And I'm like, we gave you months, dude, months to show that you could pick your shit up, and he just left it on the ground. And the, and the Yankees ultimately had to make that decision and say, you know what, we need a guy who's going to provide high energy. And, you know, it's not just the tangible traits that Harrison Bader brings. It's the it's the intangible traits. He's a leader. He's a guy that you're going to see smiling. He picks everybody else up. He makes everybody around him better. Those are the type of players that you want on your team, the guys who make everybody around you better because he covers a lot of ground, because he motivates them, because he gets excited. He goes nuts. This guy has had one of the most unbelievable Unbelievable introductory, you know, sequences I've ever seen to a team. His first game was Aaron Judge's 60th home run and a walk-off grand slam. His his second game, a grand slam in the second in the first inning from Oswaldo Cabrera. His third game, a walk-off um, against the Boston Red Sox in a huge Thursday night game, and, and with Aaron Judge still chasing it. And, you know, obviously they're not pitching to Judge. Alex Cora, full of shit. If they think that they were actually attacking Judge, they were throwing balls to him. Absolute nonsense, in my opinion. But you know, is what it is. He had a really good pitch to hit. And by the way, that camera angle that Fox showed yesterday was the worst camera angle I've ever seen. I got up and started screaming and they were, sh they, they made it look like it was going to fucking Mars. And I was like, this is absolutely a bomb. And then they, they like shift down and it lands like right before the wall. And I'm like, that was just like, I, I get they're trying to make this like sensationalized dramatic moment, but that was so fucking annoying. Um, really pissed me off, but just wanted to get that out for a second. But Harrison Bader, back to him has just been tremendous. And and the thing is, what I most liked about him is that he didn't really take any time to need to ramp up, right? He was killing it with Somerset, and he went from Somerset to the MLB after spending months off of out of baseball and immediately contributed. And I think that really stood out to me. You know, over the three games he's been with the Yankees uh, just the past couple of days, he's hitting 364 with a 33% on base rate. Um, he has four hits and 11 at bats and three strikeouts, and he has six RBIs. Um, like you said before, he turns singles into doubles. When he's on second base, singles drive him in with ease. Like he is capable of scoring on a single. Um, even just a bloop little single, he can score. And his, um, he he's a risky base runner too. You know, you saw that one uh, where uh, Brian Reynolds two nights ago had to was sliding in center field to try and get that ball, and it dropped like an inch before his glove. Bader was already routing third base by the time that he got that. So he's a risky base runner, but it pans out. Those type of risks sometimes. Um, you know, curate reward, but he also understands being a center fielder himself that that ball is going to land in a specific spot. That guy's not going to get there in time. So um, I've been very impressed with his mental aspect and just knowing when to go, being smart with his base running decisions, being risky but calculated in them. Um, and offensively, he's just been stout, man. He, he, he's, he's seeing the ball well. He's making big plays. He's hitting at big moments. He's driving runners in. Um, he's scoring when he's on base defensively. He's, he's sharp. He had that one play where he tried to barehand it. It kind of squeezed by a little bit, but it was, it didn't do anything. Uh, nobody scored on it. The guy stopped at third base regardless. So, uh, no harm, no foul there, but 
so far, very, very impressed. If they get this version of Harrison Bader the rest of the way and in the postseason, this team is so much better, and it's not even close. Because before, you have Cabrera in left, or you have Cabrera in right field, Judge in center, and Hicks playing left, or whoever the hell they were throwing in there. This is a monstrous upgrade, guys. I, Oswald Cabrera playing in left field. I'm confident in him playing there. He looks sharp. His arm is fine. Um, I'm very, very impressed with this entire outfield and how it's kind of come together. But again, we got to continue winning games. We're beating bad teams right now, and we're beating them by a little bit. Um, you know, a lot of walk-offs against Boston, against Pittsburgh. We got to be blowing these guys, these teams out every single day. You know, you can't uh, be squeezing these games out um, every single day. And, and ultimately, I think the come the postseason against better clubs, we got to be really in flow. We got to be scoring a lot of runs. But um, you know, any last thoughts on Harrison Bader in this outfield? Yeah, so, I mean, I guess kind of trying to set expectations for him offensively going forward. Um, you know, projections have him as a better than league average bat, and not like in the sense of like right at league average or maybe a tick above. A decent bit, we're talking 7, 9, 12%, depending on whichever projection system you use. Um, could you imagine this lineup, you know, in that sixth or seven spot, getting a guy who's, you know, a better than league average hitter, knowing the Yankees have had issues with the depth of their lineup because of all the injuries. I think of guys like Carpenter potentially coming back. Maybe you get Ben Benintendi at some point in that playoff run. Glaber's looked better lately. Donaldson had a good night yes, last night and has continued to have a strong month of September. Um, you know, judges, Aaron Judge, John Carl Stanton with another big home run. As this lineup kind of gels into its own, if Harrison Bader can live up to uh, what he is supposed to be at the plate or what he can be at the plate. Um, this lineup goes nearly nine deep, and that's something we haven't said about the Yankees since the start of the year, uh, where we felt like every single guy in that lineup could give you a competitive at bat and uh, drive in a run if need be or do something uh, extra. And then you add on, as you mentioned, the, the aggressive base running, right? You know, I trust Harrison Bader to go out there and be a playmaker. I've talked about this uh, with Bader, with Trevino, where you, these are guys that go out there and they just make things happen, right? They use their defensive or base running skills to go out and force the situation and put the Yankees in situations to win baseball games. Um, and that's something that you can't necessarily, uh, you know, put value on up front. But you can definitely say that when Harrison Bader is on second base, you have a pitcher worried about him. That changes a lot of things, especially in the bottom of the lineup. You could see him hitting seventh, you know, and if it's he gets on second base, probably means there's another guy coming up eighth or ninth guy and if judge is in that first or second spot if you have Aaron judge coming up and you've got to worry about Harrison Bader at second base and worry about stopping the guy who's probably having the best offensive season since prime Barry Bonds good luck to you because uh it'll be a long night it'll be a stressful inning and stressful pitches uh you know they they really drive up uh or they really wear down on the pitcher David Cohn's talked about this before where pitch count yes it matters but it's the stressful pitches you know how many pitches are you throwing at high leverage those type of things wear down on the pitcher um, so ultimately, you know, I look at Bader and I just see him as that supplemental piece to the big boppers in the lineup with Rizzo, Judge, and Stanton. Um, and, you know, he's as perfect as it gets in that regard. You do, you, do I wish maybe he was left-handed? Sure. But we're, we're talking about, we're, we're, we're nitpicking now. Uh, so, you know, in terms of the defensive fit, the base running fit, as you mentioned, he's just done things. Uh, he's a high effort guy, high motor guy. Um, I just, I feel confident Harrison Bader as my center fielder. And, you know, the, the, in terms of war, he's uh, ranked consistently in the top 10 um, over large samples of time. So this is my center fielder. I think you agree with me there. Um, and hopefully he continues his hot play so that, you know, more Yankee fans, because I know they're, they, they've kind of endeared themselves, he's endeared himself to them, but more Yankee fans can feel this type of way because this type of guy is uh, really, we haven't had this good of a defensive center fielder in a really long time, definitely not in my lifetime. Yeah, guys, I'd really love to hear your thoughts about Harrison Bader, his performance so far, expectations moving forward. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Um, have a happy holidays, and we'll catch you guys on the next Fireside Yankees episode.